morning, Saturday, September the 4th. And as you can see, I've removed the green netting and I took all the uh, stems off the potatoes and stacked them over here. I weren't going to take the risk. I was quite happy with what uh, potatoes had pulled out of the pots. I'm going to uh, empty that one this morning and some carrots and some uh, runner beans and some uh, pongo beans it's going to be a decent harvest day today so we'll uh, we'll get on with these because I'm going to uh, also harvest some uh, beetroot there's uh, quite a few in there that uh, are a decent size so we'll, uh, we'll have them out and as you can see I've took the shelving down from here because that raised bed is coming out and then I'm going to put uh, a shelving unit back in similar to the one that I have down the other side okay um, cauliflowers looks like we should be having uh, cauliflower for Sunday dinner that's giving a nice size so yeah I'll have that out today for tomorrow's dinner this one is still forming so that'll be a couple of weeks but that one will be okay for next week so yeah looking good okie dokie we'll catch you when I get set up right we'll see uh, what we have see whether I've made the right decision and I think I have Now, looking at it, from the start, I would say yes, but we'll have a mosey through and see what there is. As you can expect, there's a lot of tiny ones. I reckon that's it. As I say uh, this might be one of the pots where I've had a good selection out. I'll put on the uh, screen how many seed potatoes I had in here. I think it was three, but I wouldn't swear to it. I'll check on my uh, records and have a look okie dokie I'll uh, tidy the wheelbarrow up and I'll bring you back 
Well, not a fantastic amount, but um, nice potatoes, nevertheless. Okay, we'll get on with the uh, potty carrots. There's not many in here, because we've already been harvesting some. Only baby ones. I think we should be making a start on the uh, red cord before much longer. But, uh, not quite enough for, for two meals, but I'll take a few out of another pot. Okay. Right. We'll uh, get a basket sorted out and we'll go get some uh, pongo green beans and some runner beans. Okay, I'll bring you back when we've got those done. Right, there we go. Nice few uh, runner beans. I took uh, three Chantonet red cobs from another pot round the back and uh, the pongo green beans. Very nice. Okay, we'll see about getting some beetroot now. Bring you back shortly. Okay, that's uh, beetroot seen too. That'll do for another jar possibly. Okie dokie, we'll get that cauliflower dug out now. Bring you back shortly. Okay, let's see what we have here. There we are, a nice cauliflower for Susan and I for Sunday and Monday. Okie dokie. We'll have a look around what we've got and then uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, catch you later. Okay, we set it to zero pounds. One point six. Okay, okay. Catch you later. So there we are. The harvest for Saturday, September the fourth. I'm happy. We have to keep us going there. Okay. I've got uh, a couple of sites that I'd like to mention. If you won't mind bobbing across and having a look, one of them is Cuckoo Cockridge. Cuckoo Cottage, uh, that's uh, Scott in Ireland, and Coastal Garden is uh, in Anglesey, and it's Duncan. I'll put the links below so you can uh, have a look. If you like them, please subscribe to them. Okie dokie, catch you later. Okay, I uh, come across a, a tub the other day with all these small onions in and obviously they weren't growing so um, I've took them out and uh, I'm thinking about putting them back in as sets see whether it'll actually work or not for next year Okie dokie, bye for now